Well, here we are. It's we finished Lenny Godfrey Straight No Chaser, and now it's the after show afterthoughts. And here we are with these two wonderful men. Um, we are here and enjoying our conversations. We started without you. Sorry, audience. <laughs> so we have Will, William Bill Sanders. Now raise your hand. Will. Well, there he is. And then we have Will Morris. There you see. So now you can start figuring out who was who in the conversations and and so much you know, um, how much fun we had. We had, we were laughing before you all came on, before we came on the air. So there you go, you know. <laughs> but one, one of the things that, that um, I, I, I do want to talk about just for a minute is how do you maintain the theater feel here as opposed, like we were talking about theater is different here than it is commercially. Is it... Is it a constant fight? Is it is it something that is naturally that happens here naturally that doesn't happen someplace else because uh, of an environmental thing? Why do we have? I think what we have here is theater more than I think what we what, what's happening in New York. Hmm. Um, you know, for for me, it it all comes down to. Um, uh, the people here are, it's kind of a twofold thing. People here are coming to be entertained or challenged or have a theatrical experience, but they're also coming to support the local theater scene. They're mm -hmm. coming to support their community. They're coming to support their, uh, you know, my neighbors come to every show that I do. Like it's, it's that kind of feeling. Um, and it's a lot more um, clearly uh, anonymous if you go into the larger Vegas, New York kind of commercial theaters, you don't have that sort of personal inherent connection. You're not seeing your best friend, although people do in those instances. Yeah, you but... do. You, you, you come and you see that you have that investment, but it's rare. It's not, you know, you're, 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 you're maybe four people in the audience of 1500 know who's on the stage. They know them personally, you know. Right, so, right. And the yeah, and then the, I feel like the actors are there more inherently connected to telling the story for that audience because they probably know a good 25% of yeah. that audience yeah. that are, yeah. is there. And you just, yeah, that's that that would be my answer to it. Yeah. I also think there's a sense, there, there's a, a friend of mine and I used to say that people were bowling for Tony Awards. <laughs> and I, I, I think that in the New York theater, especially sometimes, not always, I don't want to make a blanket statement, but sometimes it feels like everybody's trying to be the best. And I think that in the regional theater and in our theaters, there it, it's more the sense of telling the story rather story. than making yeah. it about themselves. You know, I, I think that, uh, you know, my feeling about it is an occasion being there, working back and forth, is that people pick things that they think that that are going to, and it's the same thing with television, you know, mm -hmm. that are, that are going to give them that that it's going to be that vehicle. Whereas naturally, what happens is that you just do the work, and if you do the work, parts those performances emerge, and the audience really tells you if mm -hmm. you're doing the work. And the and the hardest audience, of course, you know, are the children. I mean, children's theater is harder <laughs> than anything else in the world. If you can yeah. do children's theater, you can do anything. Because children won't. will sit there like this. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> you know, until, and you know, but you want them to be fascinated. I mean, you want them to, you, you know, and, and that was, that's the biggest challenge whenever I do theater and they say, okay, well, we're going to have, schools come in on this particular matinee and you're going to go, oh Lord. Okay. All right. <laughs> I mean, that's, yes. I mean, that's, that's the challenge. It's like, okay, I really, the magic, it's the magic. I think yeah. that's what I'm, I'm missing a lot sometimes when I go to the theater, I don't go a whole lot because I've gone and been disappointed so much. And so I, you know, I, I go in particular and, and, you know, when I'm not working, I'm very particular about when I go and, and hope, and I'm like, be a Richard, be a Richard, God bless you to say, she get a, used to get a script and say, oh, I hope I like this. You know? <laughs> <laughs> 
you know, <laughs> and you go to the going, oh, I hope I like this. And and I've I've I have, you know, there's some things that I have liked, but other things, I think that's why I do all the things that I do is because I do them because I don't see what I want to see. So I that's read this re- I read this really great quote um about it the right before COVID from Marion Seldes. Yes. Um, she said, she said when she goes to the theater, even when she's in, in a situation where she doesn't particularly like the play or she doesn't, there's actors that she's not fond of their work or whatever. She tries to focus on one. She, she can always find one thing that she loves and one thing to support. And that was really kind of transformational for me because I've been in, we've all been in those situations and to be able to um, do that on now four different occasions really changed my experience in the mm. theater because mm-hmm. instead mm-hmm. of me like seething or getting upset, uh, yeah, 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 it was really wonderful to be able to go. Well, that's really nice. What's happening there? You yeah, know, you don't want to, yeah. you know. You can you find that moment. I remember Lloyd used to say, um, "There's always one person in the audience that knows what your work should be." And you should play for that one person every night. Just think that one person is there. Hmm. And it, if you go to the theater thinking there's got to be something in here that I'm going to yeah. find, and then my job is to find it. It's right. to find what is yeah. the, the magic here. What is the magic? Yeah. It may be the costuming. It may be how wonderful that they costumed everyone and the colors and how they, you know, how it all gleams together. It may be yeah. the set. It may be just one of the actors who really is just immersed in themselves so much that it's not, they're not doing it for themselves. They're doing it to, to, for the story, just for the story. You know, it, I, I love it so much. The, the, the feeling that you get when you, when I guess it's storytelling for me. And when I, when I sing, I think the things that I, I do best uh, the, the songs that I sing best are story songs, you know, um, and I take the audience with me. So I'm, I'm always enjoying that, you know. Uh, I, love I, that. I love that, that someone, there's someone there who knows, who, who needs to, what, what, can you repeat that, what that needs Lloyd to? Lloyd used to say that there's always someone there who knows what you're supposed to be doing. Mm-hmm. You do it for that one person. Every night, mm-hmm. I, that was so comforting to me. You know, yeah. I mean, I, I was on Broadway only a, a year, a year and a half, two years after college. So um, I remember giving, needing to give myself that after the first opening week when everybody's exciting and everything that you have, then you start, you know, it's, it's a long run. It's a, a year, a couple of years, you know. So what do you do now? What do you, you know? And, and then I remember he said that. He said, remember, every night there's somebody who's paid a ticket for you. And that's the important thing. Not the people who don't pay the tickets, you know. I mean, mm-hmm. you know, and God bless them, you know. They give us what we, they give us. But the, the person that, that, that's paid that ticket, they've scuffed that money together. And they've gone in the shower and they put on their nice clothes and they've, you know, they've gone, gotten the subway or gotten on the bus. And this is their entertainment. I don't care if you've done it 50 times. This is the first time they've seen it. So do it for them the first time. And boy, that lasted me all my time on Broadway. And it lasts me every single time I perform because it's the first time, you know, it it just gives you that edge. It gives you that edge where you don't walk through it. That, that there's nothing more, there's nothing more disconcerting than seeing somebody walk through a show. Yeah. Oh, yeah. oh yeah. and you, you know, I don't understand why people don't think that, you know, you can see it. I'm that person who knows what you're supposed to do. When I go to the theater, <laughs> I'm that person. <laughs> I become that person. So do it for me. Do it like, you know, I want, because I can tell, like I said, I can, I can tell. I said, you know, when you, you're in a run of a show and you, well, you had a long night or, you, this is this is it's a challenging week and you miss your cue light and i'm like oh no no you got to get in that zone so so that's all brother that is the reason the bless you are in a blessed group of people who are working and there are 10 people who would want to do that so understand how blessed you are in that and um 
uh, it's, it, it, I feel very blessed all the time to be able to do the things that I do. And I try hard to do them as well as I can. And, and the people that I've met along the way, we talk about, you know, UB Blake and Norman Lear and Lloyd Richards and, you know, all these wonderful people on, in the different mediums that have been very kind to me, you know, um, it's a great life. As the, as the movie says, it's a wonderful life. <laughs> yeah. My favorite. That's my favorite movie. Is it? Uh, yes. Are you going to do are you going to do a stage adaptation of it one day? You know, never, because that's one of those things that I like. I want that to be a movie. Okay. I don't want it to be on stage. I don't want anyone else to play those parts. I know. There's a couple of movies like that. <laughs> yes. You know, you know like, yeah, I just yeah, feel like, yeah. mm, no, no, I, no, no. Well, yeah, I, I feel like that, you know, about a couple of movies when they start thinking um, uh, remake, you know, I'm going to be very, I'm going to say this. I feel like that about the women. I will never like anybody else doing the women, but the women who did it originally. Those dogs. Rosalind Russell. <laughs> Baby. That doll, you know, she was, she was something. That, yep. that film was something, something, you know, yep. something, something. I mean, it was, I have to tell you, I have to tell you my, um, it's watching things like that. The devotion that was put on that film, which was directed by George Cukor, which was a man who knew all of those things about women. What, is, what did the mother say? Yep, true. I know my sex. You don't have to say yep. anything else. Yep. You know, yep. um, uh, it's, it's just one. Sometimes I get, you know, I, I applaud the efforts. I understand it, you know, um, but um, it, the, the, the casting is so vivid. It, you just kind of don't want to play around with it. You know. Did you ever see that musical version with June Allison? Of course, of course I do. Yeah. And and Joan Col Joan Joan Collins Joan what's what's what uh it's not Joan Collins uh, Joan Fonte uh, I don't know I have uh, no idea yeah I just remember yeah, yeah 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 but but that, but they put the men in it yeah and I just remember it not being memorable like no, no I mean no, and I no, may have had no. too much wine that night but I don't yeah, remember no no it's it's <laughs> not no you know it it. it it, I think, um, oh, one of my friends, Mark, will tell me this woman who I love is in it. Um, uh, I, I think it was a, a product of the time. It was in the 50s where they thought, you know, we've evolved now and we need to do this. And they had particular women play particular parts. Um, you know who I'm talking about, English. Uh, Joan Collins, Elizabeth uh, Taylor. She's called the cheap. Joan Bennett. No, no, Joan Collins. It's it's yeah. Joan Collins because her sister was the writer, right? Yeah, yeah, okay. yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. She played um, uh, what uh, uh, um, uh, the 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 um, uh, uh, the part that Crawford played. Um, uh, uh, yes, um, yes. Yeah, Crystal, Crystal, Crystal. Crystal, thank you. Yeah, she played Crystal. <laughs> Joan Collins, and she, she was, you know, it was, uh, but, you know, no, I don't. And that's kind of, it. that's kind of the point with like, why would I want to do It's a Wonderful Life or any of that? Like there's some, like Bishop's Wife is another one of my favorites mm. and they were going to make that into a musical. And I was like, mm, no, no. Yeah. You know, I, I don't mean, think it worked know, with I, Whitney. I, I, yeah. I, even the movie, you know, the chemistry, I think what we don't, get as much now is that it's not just getting actors who are popular but it's the chemistry between the actors that really made it work and we don't take a lot of time to you know we we cast the names that you know are gonna you know and if we're lucky then there's some chemistry there but yeah. sometimes there isn't, and that's why it doesn't work. There was chemistry there all through those films. Those films, those people, you know, they knew each other. They knew each other from the theater. They knew each other, you know, um, in their community. It's different now. We don't know one another. 
you know, yeah. we get pulled from this place and this place and, 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 and we're supposed to fall in love in, in a two and a half week period, you know, yeah. um, and that takes some real good acting skill. Yeah. And sometimes okay. we have it and sometimes we don't. We don't. <laughs> <laughs> But anyway, well, guys, look, I just can't tell. I can't thank you enough. It's just been wonderful. I have to have you back, but I have to be cognizant of the fact that you are going to be working hard this season. So. <laughs> it's going to be crazy. Yes. It, it's, yeah. Yeah. It's, it's, it's already crazy. Full, full steam ahead. <laughs> yeah. 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 So, you know, maybe when you have another break, we'll do this again and, and I'll poke into your lives a little bit more. Um, you know, uh, your, your best moments, your worst moments, the, the things that, that, uh, you, you fear the most, the things that you, you are bravest about, you know, all of those things, you know, all those elements about things that they, that people don't really think that we know. Um, again, like I say, they, they think that we it's, we have a good time. We have a good time. And so they don't think it's work. Right. And that's the greatest Price thing that we can give them to make them think it's not work. <laughs> yes. If, you know, and that's, that's, what's wonderful. We don't want you to, to, to feel that it's work, but I want you to know it's work. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> not making it look like work is a lot of work. <laughs> oh my gosh. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. yeah, yeah. Preach. <laughs> you know, I, I've had people come to me and they say, uh, Oh, that looks so easy. I could do that. And I go, Oh, really? Mm -hmm. uh, you want to try it? Would you? Would you? Yeah. Yes. You know, well, my favorite, my favorite thing is, my favorite thing is, oh, you're so lucky. It's like, yeah, I know I'm lucky. I know I'm blessed, but it's also like a lot of work. Yes, it is. Yeah. And it's, you know, I'm lucky, but not for the reasons you think I'm lucky. Right. <laughs> you know, <what> I'm <laughs> you know, you think I'm lucky because I mean, I like I told you, they think I'm sitting around eating bonbons. I said, you know, no. No, uh, but I am lucky that I am, I am lucky and blessed that I am in a field that I love so much that I will, you know, people talk about, you know, the retirement. I said, oh, well, I'm never going to stop doing it. No. What, what, and what would I do? Look at me. What would I do? I don't fit in anywhere else. Nobody else would want me, please. <laughs> I don't think that's true. But. Yeah, I don't think that's true either. <laughs> well, I thank you. <clears throat> yes, I was fishing for a compliment. Thank you. <laughs> but, um, but no, but, but seriously, um, once you discover that this is what it is, you can't go back. You, you really can't go back. You just, you have to find where you can stay in it and, and be healthy uh, and be fruitful and productive. But you can't go. I find that people who try to go and do something else, they're never happy. Yeah. They're never happy. I agree. It, you know, success is relative. You know, if you think the only time that you're going to be successful is if you get a bunch of awards and you're on, you know, you're doing this and you have this, you get uh, $3.2 million to do something. Well, that's only going to be a couple of people. That's not everyone's success and it shouldn't be the definition. And that's why we have to be a little bit more particular about who we bring into this business. Um, they're opening up, yeah, I don't know if you, you all don't equity. know, equity. Uh, I had, I got a headache. I got, <laughs> I was, I wish, I, I, I almost dropped my phone. I was, I could not believe it. I, I don't understand what, you know, and what I don't understand is why we didn't get a vote in it. Yeah. I it's mean, why is this a ploy to make money? Yes, of it's course it is. And to open it up for people to come from all over. And now, you know, we, we, we are the, 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 the roles are close enough as it is, you know, now you, you're opening up to everybody to come in. We can't go anywhere. We can't, you know, I've worked abroad, but it was heck getting me to, to even do, to work abroad. And I was the lead, huh. yeah. you know, so uh, you, it's a, I don't know. It, it's you, we have we have to do something about that. And of course, they had a meeting about it today at four o'clock. But what was I doing? I'm getting ready to do this. Sure, yeah. So I've never had I've never seen them have a meeting that quickly about something. They usually give you some forethought um, so you can have your um, schedule. 
because I think that there needs to be a voicing of it. There needs to be some voicing of it, and that should not be the last word on it. And I they're going to get, they're getting so much pushback too, because I mean, and it's also clearly like it's for two years. So what is yes. that but a ploy? It doesn't make any. Exactly. And imagine, and imagine the producers like having to now do EPAs. Like, oh, I can't even imagine. It's going to be insane. You know, I mean, and, and what, what I'm saying is, I, I said, you know, the first thing they started talking about was diversity. I said, this has nothing to do with diversity. Let's don't put it on the Black people right now. Thank you very much. Okay. <laughs> All right. Let's don't. Okay. This has nothing to do with George Floyd or anybody else. All right. This mm -hmm. has to do with the fact that there are a group of people who want to make a lot of money. And I understand. And I know that in saying it is on air that people are going to get mad with me, but Okay, well, you're mad with me anyway, so it's okay. <laughs> <laughs> let him, let him. <laughs> you know, but you know, uh, I think it's something that we as actors have to, um, you know, I know we're careful because we want to work and we don't want to, you know, get ourselves in a situation where we, you know, people think that we're troublesome, but we really have to, we really have to talk about what kind of industry we want to be a part of. And we all have to be a part of creating this, not just a small group of people, yeah. but it, you know, it takes all of us to have a voice in that and then say, okay, well, if, if we get 70%, then let us talk about the 30%. Let's talk to those 30%. But none of us had a voice in that. It was just a declaration. Done. Yep. Yeah. And, you know, uh, a, a committee, who's on the committee? You know, yeah. I mean, and, and who nominates those people who are on the committee? You can volunteer. What is, what's the qualification for the committee? Ah, don't get me started. This is something, don't get me started. We'll be on here all night. Mm -mm. <laughs> no. But thank you. Thank you so thank you. very much. You know, you all, it was, fun. You know, it was, it was wonderful. I wish you all the most successful season. I'm going to pop in, you know. Um, I'm doing a couple of projects that kind of making me a little crazy right now. So forgive me if you don't see me right, right at the very beginning, but well, let, let us know when you're coming. So, okay. All right. Okay. And we will get you, we will get you, we will get you in. <laughs> Thank you. All right. All right. Thank you so very Thank much. You. Okay. Now. Thank you. Okay. Bye. Bye.